Welcome back, everybody. Sorry about the difficulties there for a second. I am Adris. With me is Chase. We are uh, doing the PSL Season 2 Up and Down matches for Code A and Code B. It is based off the style you know from the GSL. We are going to start off tonight with a lovely little set. A nice PvP for you from SXE and Lawn Gnome. First map here will be on Cloud Kingdom. I am ready. How are you doing tonight, Chase, and are you ready? I'm doing pretty good. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Spawning down here in the bottom left-hand corner is our blue Protoss player, the team captain for Payback, SXE. And spawning in the top right-hand corner, it is... Everyone's favorite yard ornament, Lawn Gnome, our pink Protoss player. Mm -hmm. So, Chase, um, have you ever played any of these guys? Do you know what their style is or anything of that um, nature? Back in the day, I played SXC and PvP all the time. Um, because when we were just at the very beginning of anything Payback related to StarCraft, it was me... SXC and his cousin Ill and a couple other people they didn't really count and what we did we were all protests so we just had PvP nights and played and played and played and played PvP so I would say I know what he does but that was a while ago yeah he um, likes immortals he likes Colossi and he likes making lots of sentries and then not using them <laughs> I've seen that now we do see both mirror builds coming out for our players uh, I mean, very standard at, you know, what, 155 in the game? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Lawn Gnome, have you ever played him? Uh, anything? I've, I've, I've never played Lawn Gnome, no. Have you? Uh, I want to say no, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah. Um, we've probably played in a beat mode, and I just forget about it. So, uh, Chase, how's... How How's PSL going for you? You haven't played yet, have you? I have not, and I won't have to till next week. Um, any uh, I, any predictions for your groups or for your <laughs> for Codas? The prediction of my group will be lots of Protoss, and they will all be hailing from the Masters League, ready to stomp on my face. Yeah. What happened last season was I got in third slash fourth place of the Codas back when we didn't have a lot of Masters Protosses. And so I get seeded into Codes automatically, and now I get seeded into the living hell that Codes will be. It'll be fun. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. But you know what? At least you get to say you're a Codes level player. Two and seasons, that's man. Say. That's, that's more than I could say. Um, mm -hmm. So with the <laughs> mirror builds, now that the Cybercore is down, we can kind of tell which way they're, they're going to lean. But both of them are just kind of sticking with this route for now, so we're going to give them a little more time before we start calling anything. SXE is a very big fan of the three gate robo. Um, he advocates that for a lot of Protoss players to learn as a very solid build. Um, Lawn Gnome, right. on the other hand, you know, he, this is his first PSL season. He was good enough to be placed into the AB up downs based on his ladder ranking. And the way that worked was if you were platinum, you got into the Please, AB. Yeah. Up downs, and if you were diamond or higher, you got into the um, you got into the S A. Which down. is which is another good joke because I'm platinum, and I don't even have to do the S A up downs. And yeah, yeah, yeah you're that's in. another good joke. Yeah, hey Zerg man, Zerg. Now Zerg we do feet, see, We all know it. Yeah, we know it. But now we see second gas out of Lawn Gnome and S X E both. Uh, Lawn Gnome's was a little bit faster. Uh, and yeah, we do see three gateways and a robo out of Lawn Gnome. So he's going to go for that same style that we were talking about, the SS, that SXE tends to favor. We do see mm -hmm. three gateways down now for SXE. And I want to say at his next available gas, um, at his next 100 gas, so like right now, he's going to plant down a robo very shortly. It would make uh, sense. But it he's, and it would be a, a mere build, which is always yeah. fun to watch. Wink, wink. Yeah. yeah, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, right? Mm -hmm. We do see the first observer coming out for Lawn Gnome. 
Um, SXE is putting down a couple forward pylons. He's going to go hide this probe in his opponent's natural. It's just what he does. SXE loves to have good map vision. Um, I've talked with him about this because we've worked, we've trying to work on it for myself in my play, and he says, you know, he, he feels like he's playing blind and whatnot, but we do see the first Immortal coming out. First Observer is on the way over to SXE's base. SXE's Robo is about three, two-thirds of the way done, three-fourths of the way done, something like that. Around there, yeah, yeah, I'd say that. Yes, yeah, SXC does love his vision. He likes to make tons of observers and yeah. get observer speed, the upgrade that no one ever gets. But he's he gets it. He does and what he, he wants. He, he does what he wants. I've actually seen SXE have like three or four observers with his army clumped up right next mm -hmm. to each other, and I've been like, SXE, what are you doing? Spread those I out. I mean, if any of them get picked off, he'll still CDTs. It's a sound strategy that wastes a lot of supply. It's okay. yeah. Now, I do have to say, Lawn Gnome is supply blocked right now. Uh, not able to get this uh, immortal He's, out that he wants. There's this pylon, okay. Yeah. It's a late uh, pylon to reply. Oh, the, the observer. Observer. Yeah, uh, only anyway. shield damage right now. Only shield damage for the time being. SXE still keeping his thing. And now both their money is really high, so I'm expecting an expand. And here comes the expand out of SXE. Here comes the expand out of Lawn Gnome. Uh, very interesting PvP. We oftentimes don't see players expand. Oh, I was sorry. expecting a four gate from Lawn Gnome. I will, um, I will be honest. Four gates are always fun, and we all know of SXE's weakness. Do we not? Uh, SXE's one weakness in the world. It's if only I... weakness. Yeah. Because it's not cute girls. Oh, we know that for sure. <laughs> uh, that's very well, <laughs> very well, fit. very well put. But we do see SXE's observer coming in here. He is going to see the. Wait, hold on. Yeah, SXE is going to see the army. He's going to see what's being chronoed out. Well, not mm -hmm. what's being chronoed out right now. I apologize. But what uh, you know, what's being made and things of that nature. Oh. London does hold this forward watchtower with his probe. So that's always fun stuff. But here comes the Twilight Council out of SXE. Um, and I know in PVT, because this is what I play SXE, and he loves to play Charge Lot Archon I and have, loves High yep. Floor. Mm -hmm. uh, he loves that some is Storms. A, yeah, storms. He loves to storm. Oh my goodness. But in PvP, this tends to not work so well. Yeah, because... storms don't do very well against armored units, and yeah. that's what that's what every Protoss unit is, except for no, that's what every Protoss unit is. Yep. Except yeah, sentries. sentries even even the probe is armored. I, I'm pretty sure. Um, no, it's light. Yeah. So, oh, they just not armored. But we do see that first one coming in. Here comes the Observer, and there's the Twilight Council. So interesting at SXE, it looks like he wants to go for early Archons instead of early Colossus. I mean, he has the economy now. Templar Archives. Temp okay, that's what we mean. Templar Archives? What did I say? Psionic Temple? You said uh, Twilight Council. It's okay. Uh oh, I have a yep, tendency to say Psionic Temple Archives. So I'm assuming he's not going to go for Storms. I'm assuming they're strictly for Colossi, but we never know with SXE, and we will not leave any doubts. Yeah, I mean, we um, saw a game Orb the other day where he didn't make a Starport the entire thing, so I've kind of given mm -hmm, up on yeah. calling what people are doing. Um, SXE mm -hmm. well, has been uh, idle, but Londom's ready to bring the Pain Train. Let's have his forward pylon and warping in. Does SXE know about this? I do not believe he does. Not at all. SXE is no clue right, city right now. Yep, no Force vision. shields going down. Nice little curve out of Lawn Gnome to trap SXE's units in and keep the Immortal out. Mm. Immortal just kind of sitting there mm. now. Uh, one Immortal does go down for Lawn Gnome, but he has two more. So he can just kind of sit there and blast everything away. And there's an Archon coming out now for SXE. Um, that Archon will save the Immortal. And they. I mean, the Archon's going to finish, as it does, but it's not going to do much, I feel. Uh, maybe target down the Immortals would be a fantastic idea right now, which he's trying to do, it looks like. Um, oh, the probes. Two more survive. So. And there is an Observer up top, so he has high ground vision. This Nexus is going to go down. There is no doubt about that in my mind. I would risk my next paycheck on it. Um, and there it is. I get to keep my paycheck. It's little. Um, yeah, yeah. SXE is very, very far behind. Nope. So far behind SXE. that he's probably not going to win this game. 
S X E is about as far behind as I am as far ahead in this replay. I don't know how ahead you are in this replay. Um, I'm at team 12. But okay. as we see, Lontnum's dropping down a Colossus. Robotics Bay, I mean, not a Colossus Bay. SXE's making his last attack. Yeah, and I don't think it's gonna oh, be well. enough. Will Tarson hold? He will not. He's gonna, I mean, he can push up right now. He does have the high ground vision with the Observer. And. It's the force field, even though. Yeah. I mean. I mean, Lawn Gnome knows what's going on up there. He has the Observer, he knows what's happening. And as I was saying earlier, Lawn Gnome has the robotics bay down. He's going to be able to make Colossus soon. He should ideally be expanding soon, but I don't know about that. Um, no, he's going double forge now as getting, well. Oh, yes, yes, he is. But when it, it, head and get more head, in the wise words of Artosis, I believe. That was Artosis, right? Yeah, it was Artosis, you were yeah, correct. I was positive. Not that positive, but positive. Um, really, Lawn Gnome. SXC's gonna try and push back in now. Yeah, and I don't know, Lawn Gnome. I think he's got it. Another Immortal comes in. There's the GG out of SXC. Yep. And that was game one. Lawn Gnome winning over SXC with more Immortals and more stuff in general. Um, our next match will be on. Uh, what was. I can't even. Muspel. Muspelheim, yes, Muspelheim. And we will see you in a little.